This was actually what temperature readings were just a minute or two after midnight. It's just been tumbling there on out. It was all because of the timing of this frontal boundary. Remember, we originally said our high and low was right around 30, but 30 was pretty much the afternoon temperatures. It's continuing to tank. We're in the upper 20s, low 30s across the tri-state. Now we're at 29 in the city as well as Islip. Still snowing in Nassau, Suffolk County as well as West Islip. And we're also picking up a few snow flurries parts of the Hudson Valley, which we'll look at in a second, but wanted to point your attention to the 24 hour temperature change. A big drop 24 hours degree 24 degrees colder than the last 24 hours. I know it's a tongue twister. 26 degrees colder in Islip, five degrees warmer in West Hampton. That's the outlier there. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar. Zoom in, right? Take a look. We still have a few snow showers moving across Orange County down into Rockland County. And then as we pan over, we're still picking up more in the way of snow across most of Long Island. It looks like it's now starting to push out. So eventually from Nassau County to points east in Suffolk County, you'll see that things will start to lighten up. Now, these are just like light little tiny flakes right now. We still have a little bit of that lift in the atmosphere. Plus, we're still playing off of this energy here, that area of low pressure along with the stationary front. That's what's continuing to plague us with this unsettled pattern that we're stuck in. But still, on average, one to three inches. We got some outliers here, 4.5 in Greenwood Lake, New York, Danbury 3.3, 3.4 in Ramsey. And those are where we're seeing the higher totals, especially in parts of New Jersey and even in parts of the Hudson Valley, picking up those heavier band that's coming through. Futurecast showing that by later on this evening into the overnight, we are still hanging on a little bit. Eastern end of Long Island, once it exits the Twin Forks, we will really start to see more of a widespread clearing and it'll be gradual clearing over night with clouds starting to seep in once again as we head into tomorrow, but plenty of sunshine to go around for Valentine's Day, but it's not going to do much to warm us up. 17 degrees, frigid, breezy, wind chills, negative five to zero. The suburbs, the actual temperatures anywhere from about 12 degrees to 20 degrees. And here is a look at your three day forecast. I know it's going to be brutally cold tomorrow. Get ready to bundle up, especially bundle up the little ones. And you want to do that throughout the day because temperatures are going to be quite frigid, but we'll start to rebound come Tuesday. Lots of sunshine. And before the week is out, we'll be back into the 50s near 60, but we're tracking another rain event this time. We'll